Thomas DePay burst onto the football scene in Minnesota in the late 90s. That's when he first started playing varsity football at St. Paul Johnson. Not bad for a kid who immigrated with his mother and family from Liberia. His career ended in the NFL and that, then life became complicated. Tonight, Mike Max has his story. Thomas DePay came with his mother and family from Liberia when he was in elementary school. He grew into a new school and a new country. Then one day the coach said, I want you to play football. And his life forever changed. I threw my toss from the left side. I took it to the house. But that was a fluke. The next time around, the right side. I took that to the house. And they came and looked at me. Well, I think we got something in you. He never looked back. He became the best high school football player in Minnesota by the time he was a senior. And in this game, he found the father figures he did not have at home. Started giving me stability and started putting men in my life. That saw my potential, but also saw a kid that didn't have the wrong body he needed. He was recruited around the country, chose the Gophers. He was hindered by injuries, but when he was 100%, he was special. It was my gift from God. I didn't want to do it, but when I got out there, what was put in me, it came out. He made it in the NFL. First with Philadelphia, then came home to the Vikings where his career ended with a buyout after an injury. Hey, a little homecoming, can he get in? Yes, touchdown Vikings. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Because I went there as a boy and I left as a man. A man who was about to spiral. He was recently married and he had money, or so he thought, until he met with a CPA who informed him his many investments with one financial broker had left him broke. It was tough, man. I had just got married. I was in Minnesota, and next thing you know, my knee went out. Then I go back to ask my CPA for my money, start stuttering. And I said, hold on, I'm, I'm the African here. I, I stuttered, not you. Well, in 2008, the economy crashed. He said, your money went with it. They tried to move on. He and his wife had two daughters, three and one, Janae and Jackie. But dad was becoming distant. He was really not caring about us at home. He would leave and be gone for months at a time. I mean, not months at a time, like weeks at a time. And then sometimes we would call, he wouldn't answer. He was in depression, and it was ugly. Honestly, Mike, I would get up, go in my closet and cry. Just stay there, didn't, didn't want to come out, just. When his wife told him she was ready for a divorce and to move on, he was ready to say goodbye, for good. Did you ever think about taking your life? Oh, that was, that was a, that was a comment. That was comment. That was, really? Yeah, that was easy. That was, that was easy. I, 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 I go do it. I get in my car and just drive, try to hit something. But every time I got right there, something wouldn't let me do it. And finally, he admitted after the fact, like, yeah, I was driving and I was like, I'm just going to run into the water and whatever happens, happens. And I was like, you, did you have any thoughts about, well, I, I want to be there for my kids and, or I want to like, be there for my wife. A spiritual feeling and his wife told him there was a better way. And he decided to try and make his family a priority. And he started his own form of therapy, writing. He said, the joy of the Lord, natural man cannot understand it. I said, the joy of the Lord does not come from man. I said, I thought I knew God. Well, I was wrong. I thought I loved God. Well, I was wrong. I thought I prayed to God. Again, I was wrong. I thought I was doing his will. Well, I was wrong. So he came back home last week to be honored, inducted into the St. Paul Johnson Football Hall of Fame by the school that helped change his life as a young man. Now his family hopes he's again a changed man. He has been a totally different person. So it's like watching a miracle happen because to see him just months ago, this one person, and now he's a completely different person. And that's what he hopes, that he's found himself and in so doing, found his peace. I said, with him, I found my joy. With her, she sees, she saw an insecure boy. I said, with him, I am free. With her, it's where I want to be. Tope and his wife own three healthcare businesses that service the elderly. The family lives in New Orleans. It's good to see that they turned, he turned his life around and is doing well for everybody. It's a great story. Mm -hmm. Very good to hear that. Well, it's been a